what we're going to do today, again, is set up your business manager. And the way you kind of want to look at it, the differences between your ads manager and your business manager. With your ads manager, you there, there's there, all you can do is run an ad. That's all you can do. You can run an ad and that's it. But that's not enough. What you have to be able to do is track everything that's going on. Okay. So, so as I see- That's all the analytics you were telling me about before. Not just the analytics, yes, but it's not really. It's not really for that. It's not really the. It's not really for the for, to look at the metrics and look at okay, how many people did this, how many people did that. It's, it, it, that too, but it's it's not really that part that we really want to focus on. It's really the data that's going to be that that we're going to now be able to capture because we set up a business manager. It's now the data that we're going to be able to leverage. So Got for, it. Example, for example, go to your home. Go to the click on the little home at the top and go to your news feed. Let me show you. Let me show you what what a business manager allows us to do. Yeah, click on that one. So a business manager, as you scroll through your news feed, let's just scroll through. Let's see what what our friends are up to, and then let's see if we come across a, a, an actual sponsored ad. So there's Teresa. We keep going. Yeah. Let's see if we can find. Okay, right here. Okay. So this is just an image. Right. So, so scroll up, you see the text there. And whenever you see the word sponsored below the word magic, anytime you see the word sponsored, mm -hmm. that is a, a, a Facebook ad. So there's the text, there's the image, and here is the pause. So the fact that you stopped, that's mm -hmm. being tracked. Got it. So if we had a business manager set up, we can then set up an audience of all those who stopped. Interesting. That's so cool. On, so scroll down, click on learn more. So as you actually click on the ad, now that we'll have a business manager set up, we're now going to be able to track the fact that someone landed here. So as you click, you came over here, you landed here, but for whatever reason, we didn't fill out the form and we left, that was tracked. And why is that so important? Because I could put everyone who landed here, I could put them in their own audience. I can name that audience um, matched with a real estate sales assistant in 72 hours, web page visitor only. So now I can, I can categorize this person who landed here, but didn't fill out the form. They didn't continue. They didn't click on anything else. They simply just landed here. I can put them in an audience and I can show them another ad. Mm. That, that is so cool. Happen with your ads manager. It's all in your business manager. So, so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to set up the business manager to really put us in position to start tracking all these data points to really segment all the people that and make sense. Relevant people are future ads. Does it, can we, for future uh, purposes, is it possible to pre-segment leads? Like almost like where it's automated if they've seen oh. an ad and then they go to this one just automatically, or do you have to manually do that? Good question. Yes, you want to manually do that as you go and set up your, like, for example, what just happened right now, you saw the ad, you clicked, you came over here, mm -hmm. the data was captured. Mm -hmm. Now this person that landed here is now in an audience. Got now, it. As we go and set up our second ad, it's one single button. You click on that one single button as you're setting up ad number two, you click on that one single button and you can choose which audience to show this next ad to. So if we want to choose to show it to all those who watched the video for 45 seconds, mm -hmm. we also want to show it to all those who clicked but didn't fill out the form. We simply just choose that simple setting in the, in the setup of that next ad. So watch, go back to the news feed. Let's see if we could find a video ad. Let's see if that, that was an image ad. Yeah, I see go those back. a lot. Let's yeah, scroll see down here. below Calvin, keep going, keep going. Let's see if we can find any random video ad. Um, so it's tracked on the, it's tracked on the website visit. So there's another image. Uh-huh. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. Keep going. Let's just see if we can come across and any video, whether it's an ad or, or not, I can still, I can still give you the example, show you the example, but yeah, for whatever reason it's frozen, that's, but let's yeah. just say, for example, let's say it was a video and, and you're looking at a one minute video and it was, and it's an actual ad. Mm -hmm. What we're able to do through the business manager, which you, which you cannot do through the ads manager is in the business manager, we're running a video ad. It's one minute long. We can now set up an audience of those who watch it for 15 seconds. Very cool. And, 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 and again, what am I going to do with those people who watched a piece of my one minute video? I'm going to put them in an audience and show them another ad. That's awesome. 
So that's what creates the omnipresence. That's what creates, oh, damn, there goes T again. There she is again. There and that's what again. creates the, creates the trust. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what builds the indoctrination. People become mm -hmm. indoctrinated. They feel they trust you. They feel like they know you. They feel like they like you. They feel like they want to do business with you because they keep seeing you. Yep. And, 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 and when you're just posting organically, that's one thing, but when we start running ads and we're only targeting a, one zip code, for example, it's like, dude, you could take over quick. Mm -hmm. Like you could take over quick. Like if we're just targeting these three zip codes and I keep, that's what I want to do. <clears throat> I want to have a specific farming territory. Oh, all, that's what it's all about is targeting mm -hmm. that farm. That's it. And so, and so what makes it so, so unique is the fact that what we're going to be bringing is, 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 is value. What we're going to be bringing is education on the process of selling or buying, you know, pick whichever one, but it's either buyers or sellers. So mm -hmm. as we put out content, it's constant, consistent content on the process of selling. And that's what we're given. So it's like, man, people are going to fall in love with you because all you're doing is educating. There ain't nothing to hate on. It's like, dude, I'm just educating on what it takes to sell. And then, and then my icing on the cake is to get you to click and download my seller guide. That's it. So if I could just keep doing that, doing that, doing that, doing that, doing that, before you know it, your whole town is. I love that. I do love that. Serve, not sell. I love serve it so sell. much. All we're doing is serving. Hey, let me give you this free content. And also let me give you something you can download for free. Yep. That's where it starts. And then That's once awesome. you download, then you come into my world, right? Yep. Once you click on my page, you come in, you enter your name and email, then you're in my world. Now I can start talking to you and, and, and really set up the email automation. That's, that's going to be all, that's all part of our future calls. When I teach you how to set up the email, the email automation uh, mm -hmm. to really start nurturing that lead, because the whole purpose of all this from the Facebook ad to the landing pages and your email automation, the whole purpose of it, 99% of it is automation. Like I don't want to physically click on anything. Like I'll click to set up the ad, but once the ad is running and that ad is running 24 seven, I don't want to lift another finger. And that's what comes with it. Because as that person sees the ad, that ad is running to your local farm 24 seven, as people are clicking and coming over to your landing page and downloading their seller guide, that is happening 24 seven. As people are receiving your automated emails after the fact that they downloaded, those emails are going out 24 seven. So it's all automated. I'm, I'm teaching you how to, how to really build a, a machine where all we got to do is feed the machine. I love that. And feeding the machine consists, consists of simply putting out ads. That's it. That's like, amazing. That's it. So here today, again, what we're going to do is, is just take one step at a time and we're going to set up the business manager so we can really be in position to, to set all that other stuff up. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go back up to the top here. So we're in the news feed. Let's let's scroll all the way back up to the top um, of this news feed here. So go back above Simon or whatever his name is. Go go to the top here, and just um, and and for some reason your screen is like I don't know if it's just too too big. Is there a way you can make it smaller? Yeah, because where's the whole oh yeah left side of of the column of the page here? You should yeah, see. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. You're right. Um, there should be something else, right? Let me see. Um, there should be like a whole, maybe it's those lines at the top. Let's click on those three lines. I think it's right there. In fact, it is It is right there, but yeah. Okay. There perfect. it is. There we go. Okay, cool. So here, all we're going to do is click on, click on, on see more. Okay. To the left. So we're going to click on see more and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to go down to ads manager right there. And so what I'm going to do here on today's call is not only take you through this entire setup, but I'm okay. going to also have you bookmark um, all of these most important tabs. So when you come over here to the ads manager, one thing that's super crazy is it seems so overwhelming because there's so much stuff going on. Like there's so many, there's so many different things to click on. At the end of the day, there's only seven. And mm. that's what we're going to do today is I'm going to have you, you see my failed attempt here. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. And so there's only seven buttons that you'll ever really need to know about in this ads manager, in this business manager. So um, we're going to bookmark those today. But I what I want you to understand too, is the fact that, yeah, I'm going to teach you this today. Yes. I'm going to record it for you today. And you're going to have the full blown recording. I want you to know that I have your back from this point on. So whenever the hell you need me, like you reach out, let's schedule a call. I'll jump on. If you're stuck on an ad, 
I'll, I'll freaking tweak it for you. We'll strategize. We can mastermind. We can plan our next ad. Like awesome. I'm available for all that stuff. So, and, and, and really the ad, and, and there's nothing else to pay me. There's nothing else to pay me out, outside of whatever the heck we're doing right now. But the reason why I really love to jump on calls whenever the heck you need me is because we both benefit. You're going to learn. I'm going to give you my time for free. You're going to get a bunch of value out of it. And then what I do is I leverage that training video. Awesome. That video and I'll put it on YouTube. And that's how I end up, you know, getting more exposure. That's why a lot of my training videos on YouTube are, are exactly that. They're me on, an, on a call with an agent walking her through mm -hmm. and, I, and I leverage it and I use it for YouTube and it just helps me even more. So we're both going to win for sure. And, and so that's what I'm trying to say. Just use the heck out of me. Use <laughs> Thank me. you. So, so here's what we're going to do. At the top right there, you see, you see your name, right? That 382-12748, that drop down, that, that, that number at the top. You see your mm -hmm. name right there, the same last yep. name. So right here, this is your ads manager. Click on that drop down. Oops, um, what did I just do? <laughs> Hang on, I'm so sorry, David. No, you're good. Okay, here we go. Yep, I'm yeah, there. Hit that drop down. See, so this is your ads manager. You have one account, your ads manager. Okay. What we want to do is we want to set up the business manager. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to completely, we're going to still have this account here, but we're going to start running our, our ads out of our new business manager. Um, and so that's what we're going to do here is set it all up. So click the three lines to the left and let's go to business settings. And this will let us know if we even have one set up or not, which I don't think you do. So click on business settings. It should take us to the full blown, the, the setup. Actually you do. So you do have one here the S3 degree, which, which is not set up, but it, but it's here and that's perfect. So it, it at least saves us a little bit of time of, of the pre of the, of the beginning setup. And now we're straight into the settings, which this is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to deck out this entire business manager, and then I'm going to have you bookmark all the most important ones. So awesome. here's where it starts. Let's click on, let's click on, let's click on, on pages. Let's make sure that your page is connected here. First of all, so pages right there on the left, Click on pages. You should see your business page over here. So there's Ronnie, there's you, and then there is the page at the top. Okay, perfect. So we're good. We're good there on the page. Now let's click on ad accounts. Let's make sure that the ad account is set up um, right below pages. You see ad accounts. Okay, perfect. So this is where, where, where we need to be. So let's set up this new ad account. So again, the other account is your ads manager. What we're setting up here is the business manager. The okay. ads manager may already have a credit card and that's fine. But what, what we need to do now is, is, is put a credit card here because now we're going to start running our ads out of here, out of the business manager. So here just click on the blue button, let's add any card. And we're far from running ads right now. So don't even trip on a budget or anything like that. We don't even need that right now. We just need to, we just need to set the account up. So create a new ad account, the third one down. We're going to create a new ad account. And then we're going to, we're going to go with the same name for everything. So this, the name that you named your business manager is S3 Decree. So we're going to name the ad account that as well. And we're going to also name the pixel. Um, once we get to the pixel, we're going to name that the same as well. So um, go ahead and yeah, see if you can find, see if you can find your, your account or your time zone there. Sometimes it's like, sometimes that part could take forever. Yeah, go go with that one. That's fine. You could just go with that one. The time, okay. it doesn't even matter. The time, it's fine. So hit next. Okay. And then over here, it should, um, yeah, for my business. And then and then we should be we should be good. Okay, and then right here, you're gonna click on your name at the top left, and then and then toggle on the very bottom right. So full control, just toggle that gray to blue. Yeah, that one. Perfect. And then and then assign. Okay, so all we're doing here is setting up its own ad account. And the way you want to kind of look at the, the business manager versus the ads manager, yeah, go ahead and click on that one. So as I'm trying to explain the differences, one, the ads manager, there's no tracking. There's none of these features. You can't, you, you can't track any of the data. That's all the ads manager. The business manager, you can. And okay. So but another analogy is, is, is just like real estate, like in real estate, what a lot of agents will do once they really start crushing it and, and really start, you know, doing the damn thing, what mm -hmm. they end up doing is they end up setting up an LLC. Right? Okay. Yep. We have one, right? You have exactly right. So, so that's how you kind of want to look at this is your business manager is the LLC. So what we're doing here is we're separating everything. You got your ads manager. We're setting up the business manager. The business manager is the LLC, but the business manager even though it's even though it's an LLC, just like your real estate business, it's still tied to you. 
Okay. Right? So, so that's what we're doing here. So we're still going to tie everything back to you. Because you part are, matter. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't actually. Hit, hit next. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. Yes. <laughs> Time zones there. There are. My goodness. And then, okay. and then, yeah, hit next. And then just put whatever card here and let me. Um, okay. So now there's your name right at the bottom. So to the right, you see your name there. So you're, you're good there. Um, click on add assets. Let's see if there's anything we need to add right there at the top right, add assets. Um, let's see if there's anything we need to add. Yeah, add assets and then, okay, cool. So we're good here. So cancel and then we're good. So the ad account, the ad account is set up and here's what I want you to do also. So go ahead and go ahead and X out of this part. This is okay. gonna be, this is gonna be our, our, our this is gonna be our, a bookmark. It's not necessarily our, yeah, it actually is our first one but we're gonna go back and, and do another one too. So bookmark this one. This one is ad account. So here's what I want you to do. Your bookmarks, where's your, where's your bookmarks at? Do you have, um, I know you have bookmarks, right? You have. It should be right here. You mean like my favorites and stuff? Yeah, or your favorite. yeah, are your these? Favorite. Okay. So, yeah. Hit the star. But what I want to do is I want to create a folder. So hit the star. Oh, okay. Hit the star. And then, and then right here, folder. So let's start a new one. Let's create a new folder. Okay. We're going to name a it. We're going to give it a name, add account, but let's put it in. Yeah. Choose another folder and let's, let's create a new one. So. Yeah, new folder. Perfect. This is gonna be this is gonna be um FB business manager. This is gonna be FB business manager. And so this bookmark is gonna go into into that into that folder. So nice. see if we gotta do it again. So save it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this one's ad account. Ad account. Okay, perfect. So now every like I don't want to toot my own horn, but 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 I <laughs> do it to toot your horn <laughs> I, like, I know i know a lot but i just been in it forever right i've been learning this damn stuff forever this facebook ad stuff so i know a ton right i know a ton but i don't know everything like i don't know everything like every now and then i'll get stumped on something very rarely but i but i'll get to like something like maybe facebook charged your card and they weren't supposed to maybe maybe you got locked out of the account for some random reason like if something stupid happens like that and i don't know the answer you end up having to reach out to Facebook. And whenever you reach out to Facebook, the first thing they want to know is the ad account ID number. And that's it right there at the top. So 65096. Got it. That's your ad. That's like your ID number. So that's your ad account ID number. That's the first thing they want to know. Okay. So, okay. That, so this is a bookmark. This is your ad account. That's important. So now click on Instagram accounts to the left. Let's make sure your IG is connected, which it should be, but Instagram accounts. Um, okay, cool. So log in. Let's make sure that this is this is fully connected. Um, go ahead and click Could on just that. Click here? No, the login to the right. Right there oh. is login. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, right there. So click on that and then log in. And sometimes it'll it'll want to revert us to a to the to the professional or the business Instagram account, which it's just one click. So go ahead and log in, hit the blue one. Oh, you know, I don't even remember my password. <laughs> oh my god. It's all good. See if you can just click on forgot password or did you click on login already? The blue one? I did. Oh, wait. Yep, I did. And this is what it brought up. Okay. I don't see whatever you're seeing, but. Oh, you don't see this? No, I just see the login. I still see get additional settings for managing Instagram. How weird. I don't know. It's just the way you're sharing. I don't know if you're sharing just certain portions of your screen or, or what, but it's all good. But whatever you got to do to log in and and no, you should be seeing all of this. I definitely have you. I'm showing you. Okay, so you can't see me actually logged in right now. No, all I see is I see you clicking on the blue login button. That's all I see. You doing. Okay, and then what it does is it brings up a whole new a screen. Whole other, yeah, yeah, I don't see that part. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. That's weird. Okay. Um, and then what it does is it tells me, oh, you are you having trouble logging in? And I'm, and then I ask it for an, a login link mm -hmm. and it, and it sends me a login link and then it okay. says, confirm that it's you. So I'm confirming that now. Okay, cool. Okay. Now it's saying, let's see. Okay. So we're good. Okay. Perfect. So we're good. Okay. So now click on connected assets. Let's see if there's anything we need to connect right there. Connected assets or add assets. Yeah. Click on add assets. Okay, cool. So go ahead and add that ad account. So what we're doing here, we're just we're tying everything together. So we're tying oh. the ad account to this Instagram account. So whenever we run Instagram ads, Facebook knows which ad account to charge. So go ahead and click on the S or the, yeah, the S3. Yeah. Click on that circle. Perfect. And then add. Okay. Neat. Cool. Okay. So click on done. 
and then we're good there. So now, now, and we're not going to, and, and, and all these things are just basic setups that are not really needed to bookmark. Um, and we'll bookmark some more as we, as we continue, but that's, that, that was needed. So now to the left, click on data sources and let's come over here to scroll down and we're going to grab our pixel. So we want to set up this pixel. Um, this pixel is a piece of code that you put on your web pages um, when you start running ads. So click on pixels. And then over here, we're going to see um, the blue button. So go ahead and click on that. And we're not, we don't have any pages just yet to put it on, but we can at least prep it. We can at least get it in, in position. So again, same name for everything. We named the business manager, the S3. We named the ad account, the S3. We're naming the pixel, the S3. So go ahead and rename that. Just take away the apostrophe S, take away the word pixel and just, just hook it up. Name it the same S, the same way you're writing everything out. So S, yeah, perfect. S3, perfect. Okay, cool. So this is, this is your pixel. And what I want you to do also, so hit continue. And then as we, as, as we move on to the next screen, um, scroll down, set up the pixel now, click on that one. Got it. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and go ahead and um, go ahead and email instructions to a developer. Do that because here's what I want you to do. Yeah. Click on that one. And so I want you to email it to yourself in the okay. future. Whenever you set up any website, whether it's your EXP page or, or these landing pages that I'm going to eventually recommend for you, whatever it is, someone builds a website for you in the future, whatever. The, fir the first thing you want on these pages is the pixel. Mm. So there's your pick. Some websites ask for only the pixel ID, which in fact, I think you're KB core. If you're with KB core, I think, I think those EXP pages only ask for the pixel ID number, which, which you saw it right there. And then some ask for the entire code. Wow. That, that's, what we, that's what you saw below. I think that was like number three or whatever. That's okay. what you saw below was all those characters. That's your pixel code. Um, so whatever it is, I'm just saying, whenever, you know, if anyone knows how to put a, put a website together, if you're ever putting any, any pages together in the future, whoever the hell is doing any of that for you, they know how to install a pixel. So all you gotta do is just email them your pixel um, and, 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 and they can easily put it on. And even with your EXP websites, if anything, I would reach, I would email EXP and say, Hey man, here's my pixel. Can you guys put this pixel on my pages? Excellent. And you can ease that's a simple email. So, um, because you have no idea how many times over and over and over and over, I see, I see websites that real estate agents have like their, their Keller Williams website, their, their Coldwell website. It's your website. It has your name on it, but it's your broker's website, but it has your name. It's your designated page for your business for you. But mm -hmm. the moment I go to it, the pixel that's on it is theirs. Interesting. So, I need so, to see a visual of what this looks like. Cause I want to know if mine's watch. set up that way. Let me watch. I'll tell you, I'll show you right now. So let me send me your, send me your website, send me your exp site. Okay. I'll show you on my end. Yeah. It's actually right here. I don't know if you can see this, but Send me the link in, in the chat here. Okay, you got it. Let's Please. have it really quick. Of course, yeah. Let's and then see let, here. And then if you can, yeah, send to me. And then if you could stop share, I'll share my screen and then I'll show you. I'll what it looks like. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, let's see. Where is my Zoom? Where did you go? Okay, perfect. So we just we just got the whole pixel that that got emailed to you and that was kind of the whole my whole tantrum on the importance of having the pixel on your page <laughs> so now over here on the left we have domains and that's what i was referring to earlier is where if you're going to be running traffic to a website that website that domain needs to be yours and this is kind of a, a, a newer feature a new setting a newer requirement i should say within facebook where before i used to be able to or anyone used to be able to run ads to any website so that exp site that you showed me for sure mm -hmm. in the past you can run ads there, and as long as the pixel is on it, you're good. Now, today, Facebook, again, the requirement is that that domain is you own it. Got you it. Own it. So here is where, click on domains. This is where we'll want to integrate a new domain. And so I wouldn't I wouldn't use that one, the, the s3decree.com, if, if you do have it. Mm -hmm. Maybe, may, because... Because that'd be a that'd be a domain that you could probably use for maybe a full blown website of you and Ronnie. You guys got a you know per, a nice little website, and maybe it can go there. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe the LLC has its own website and has we do own, right, mm -hmm. so it can go there. Okay. So in the future, what we'll want to do over here is get a whole different domain. Maybe go to GoDaddy. Did you get the first one through GoDaddy? 
Yes, I think he did. Awesome. Perfect. I, my husband set that one up. Perfect. So if anything in the future, as we move on through our next few calls, like if anything, we can always get another domain. And okay. in this whole, this domain, this entire campaign is all around running ads to capture listings, running ads to homeowners, running ads to give away a free seller guide. So if anything, what you could do is maybe get something like, like S3 decree dot or S3 decree seller guy.com or your free mm. seller guy.com or some okay. kind of around, around the word seller guide. Okay. And that, I like that is designated just for, just our for ads, seller's guides, just yeah. for seller guide, just for our ads, just for Facebook here. And that's the one that you can integrate, you know, here. So we'll get that domain eventually, but that's where the domain will go. And then to the bottom left, bottom, bottom left, let's scroll down below payment methods. We'll go all the way down. The next one is business info. So let's click on business info and let's make sure all this is filled out over here, which it's not. So let's, let's, let's start at the top. This is so, so important. Um, let's simply hit edit. And let's, 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 let's match that business name. You have S3, you have it all, all together. Let's match it with how we wrote it with everything else. The ad account, the pixel. Yeah, that's how you wrote it. So let's, let's match everything. And then the primary page, type in your business page there and you'll see it in the drop down. So again, we're tying everything to the new business manager and that's it right there. So save and then business details, fill out all that. We don't need a tax ID at the bottom but you for sure want to want to put the, the business name, the address, the website, the phone number, um, and all that good stuff. Okay, cool. So that's probably super important. And then we'll scroll down. Let's make sure our, our email is, is confirmed. So we'll scroll down. And then right here at the bottom, my info, email. Okay, perfect. So this is super important. Hit edit next to your name there. Yeah, and then put in your, your email. And that could be any email, your EXP one or, or whatever, but Facebook's going to send you a, a verification right away. So make sure you, 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 you click on that. Okay. Awesome. And then save, and then check that email. And let's just um, confirm that really quick because that will be one reason why an account would get, would get locked or ads will get rejected because that email was never, never confirmed. Gotcha. Or, yeah. So check that you should have got that. Um, and sometimes it lands in spam. Yep. I think it went into a weird, a weird folder. Let's see. Here we go. Yep. Confirm your business email. Okay. It went to Okay, here we go. You good on the email? Come on. It's like taking forever. I'm so sorry. No, you're Thank fine. Goodness. Yep, it's verified. Yeah. Perfect. We're okay, good. cool. Okay. So now, now we're good right here. One one more bookmark. Let me have you click on click on go ahead and click on pages to the left. Okay. Click on, click on pages and just go ahead and bookmark it from here. So let's bookmark this and we're gonna we're gonna name this one business settings. So go ahead and hit the star and then we'll name this one business settings and we'll leave it in that folder. Perfect. And then we'll hit done. Okay, cool. We're good here. So now click on the three lines um, at the top and we're going to go to, let's see what's our next one. We can go to, let's, let's go to billing. We'll go to billing um, and we're going to bookmark it from over here as well. But let me have you click on, click on payment settings. So go ahead and click on payment settings. And then what we're going to do is bookmark it from here. And the reason why this is so important is because the last thing you want to do, man, is wake up and freaking Facebook hits you for 300 bucks. Like that's the last thing you want to, you want to, you want to do. So mm -hmm. it's always good throughout the month to know where that current balance is at. It's mm -hmm. always good to know what card is on file, right? Mm -hmm. Always switch it out. So bookmark this, this is billing. Let's bookmark this page. Um, and then um, we'll name it billing. And then as you're in these different tabs, you can also hit that drop down to the right. So you see the S3. So that's that's the account we just set up. So S3 to create to the right, 650, click on that drop down. You'll see your other account in there as well. So click on see more ad accounts. So this is the ad account. We named the ad account S3. So Got there, it. There's your old account, the ad account, the ad. They're both, they're both ad accounts. But one again is just your old manager, your old ads manager, which is the which is your name. And then the mm -hmm. new ads manager is, is this new S3. Got 
Got it. So, got so, it, got it. so that's billing. So now click on the three lines to the left. And now let's go to, let's bookmark it. Let, yeah, we'll keep the bookmarks going. So click on the three lines and go to, um, go to ads manager. We'll bookmark it from over here. So now the ads manager looks the same, whether it's the business manager, whether it's the ads manager, this part looks the same. So it looks yep, just like- I see right, that. Right, so yeah. click on no right at the top. So yeah, click on, on no. And then right here, so you see right there, the drop down. you're in the S3 account. So if you hit the I drop see down, that. Bingo. Yeah, so if you hit the drop down, see more ad accounts, you'll see uh -huh. your old one. So click on your old one. That's the one where we have the failed attempt. <laughs> That's the one where we have the failed attempt. Yes. So, so you can always, you know, play around with that account. That's always going to be an open account. You can always, you know, okay. use that in the future, but that's not really where you want to be setting up your ads. Got so it. let's go back to the other one. So hit the drop down, go back to the S3, and then we're going to bookmark it um, from there. So we'll bookmark it from the S3. We'll hit the star and we'll hit, um, yeah, we'll let this one load. And then this one is simply ads manager. So we have it in the folder, ads manager, and we're good. So hit done. And then we'll hit the three lines to the left. And we have, we have, I think we have like three more bookmarks. So hit the three lines and then we're going to go to, let's go to audiences. So we'll set up our first custom audience um, right now, just so we can bookmark it. But this is what it's all about. Like I stress, I stress on this more than anything. Like as I'm trying to show you these videos, right? A video for one minute, those who watch it for 45 seconds are in an, are in an audience. Those who click on the ad, they go to your web page, but they don't fill out the form. That's an audience. 99% of Facebook advertising is about creating these custom audiences around everyone who's watching every video, around everyone who's clicking on my, on my site, audiences. That's what it's all about. Because as you scale up and as you start to run future ads, it's all about no longer just targeting your farm. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's all about retargeting your audiences. It's mm -hmm. all about retargeting these people who have engaged already in the past, right? Yep. Whether they watched a video, which we're going to set up a ton of audiences around every video, or whether they're clicking on stuff, it's all about audiences. So click on that first one, create a custom audience. And what we can do is we'll see all the options right here, but it's really more basic than this. It's really only two that you're going to really create audiences around um, website. That's creating, that's creating audiences around every part of a web page whether they're clicking on the first one and they didn't opt in or whether they clicked on your page and they opt in and they land on a second page, that's website. So in the website one, I can create a ton of different audiences around different parts of my website. Awesome. And video, as you put out video, you'll start to track those who watch it. That's your audience in video. So <clears throat> we don't have any websites yet. We don't have any videos yet, but what we can do is we can set up an audience around Facebook page. So click on Facebook page. And then we'll bookmark it from over here <clears throat> and then hit next. And then so over here, you'll see, yeah, hit the page, hit the drop down, go into your other page. So you have a you few different pages. So click on, yeah, the S3 one. So <clears throat> what we'll do is if you see the events, hit the drop down, everyone who engaged, there's different options. So see if you can scroll down and see all of them. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. So yeah, hit that again. Okay, cool. So these are all different people who currently like or follow your page. Mm -hmm. Not really, we don't really want that one. And the reason for it is because all the likes that you have right now, they're from people that are all over the place, right? Yep, so we that's don't true. Them in an audience. I'm trying to farm my, I'm trying to target my farm. Not That's exactly right. And that's where I've been right? stuck. Bingo. Yeah. That's it. I don't, I don't need that audience at the top. The second one, everyone who engaged with your page, I don't really want that one either. Um, anyone who visited your page, I don't really want that one either. Because again, anyone and everyone from all over the place can visit the page. I don't want mm -hmm. them in an audience. Um, but I do want the last, I do want the next one, the fourth one down. People who engaged with any post or ad. It's really ad. So this one specific audience really applies when you run image ads. Image ads. Because anyone who engages with that ad will be in this audience. Okay. Now, if it wasn't an image ad, it'd be a video ad. And that would be a different audience. That would be under video. So, so interesting. this is really just image ads. So the retention, the 365, what I want to do is I want to bring that way down. So take away the 365. We want to bring that down to, to 30 days. So anyone who is engaged with any of my image ads within the past 30 days is in this audience. 
And this is only image ads, not video. Yes, because we're going to give okay. the audience name. So go okay. ahead and put the audience name right at the bottom. Put um, people who engaged with image ads. People who engaged with image ads. And then we'll create audience. So this could be an audience that we always use for our targeting in the future. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to target my farm, but I'm also going to going to target this audience as well. Mm-hmm. And that's all done through a simple click as you're setting up the ad. So hit done. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bookmark it from here. So this is custom audiences, custom audiences. Perfect. Okay, done. Okay, cool. So that's, this is what we're going to eventually, this is what it's all about. Again, we're going to lay out a ton. We're going to create a, from this point on, you're creating audiences, audiences, audiences. Amazing. That's what this I, is I love about. this. It, this is really our filter. This is, this yes. is how we're going to filter yes. everything. Okay. Yes. yes, yes. I love it. That's so cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now click on the three lines to the left. So we have, we have a couple more bookmarks. Um, now let's go to events manager. Events manager. And this is where your pixel's at, and I'll have you bookmark it from over here. Um, the pixel is not fully activated yet because it's not on a, on a page just yet, but we can at least at least bookmark it from over here. Okay. So, um, actually, nothing's going to show up just yet. I thought I thought I thought we would see at least a little something, but I guess the pixel needs to be on something. Click on that drop down to the top right. Um, let's see if we can go into. Click on that top one. Yeah, click on your your one with the profile picture. Let's see if anything loads. When we're done today, should I add more audiences like the video one and, or should I just stop where we are and we'll revisit that at a Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that for sure. We'll come back to that for sure. Okay. Um, but, but you can, I'll show you how to do it. You can, but any, any, what, do you have videos on your business page? Um, yeah, there are some. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll do that right now. Then we'll set up some audiences for sure. Awesome. So right here, we don't want to continue to pixel set up because we don't have a page to put the pixel on just yet. Okay. So I'm going to have you bookmark it from here, mm-hmm. but once we, once we, and this is pixel, but once we actually take the pixel and put it on, on a page, then we'll rebookmark it, but you can Got it. it for now. So hit done. And then our last, I believe it's our last one. So hit the, hit the hover over the blue triangle and then go to custom conversions right there. Custom conversions. Okay. So let me explain this part. And I like to visually show you what a custom conversion is. This is another reason why ad, ads fell. And they, they fell because your objective wasn't met. When mm-hmm. we run ads, what's really our main objective to capture a lead. Mm-hmm. Right? Like that's really the bottom line. Like I'm in the lead business. I need to capture leads. I need people on the phone. Like that's really the business you're in. You need people mm-hmm. need leads. So a custom conversion is, is, is again, what most don't set up. And that's why most really don't succeed on, on running Facebook ads. Let me visually show you what, what a custom conversion is. So if you can stop, stop share, let me come let me come, let me come back over to my screen. Okay. Let me know if you can see my screen. I can. Okay, cool. So let me explain to you what a custom conversion is and, and why it's so freaking important and, 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 and why it needs to be set up. So, so, and it, and it starts really with a question, like as we, as we start to run ads, let me see if I can just see a random ad. Okay. Here's a random ad. Yep. Sponsor, with the video. <laughs> with the video. Perfect. So, mm-hmm. so as I press play one audience, it's a 30 second video. One audience that he's putting me in is an audience of those who watched it for 10 seconds. Got it. Or he could have put me in an audience of those who watched it for 15 seconds, or he could put me in an audience of those who watched the whole damn thing. That's one audience. As I click and come over to his page, here's the pixel helper at the top. So he is tracking me with his pixel. Here's the second audience. The second audience are those who land on the page, but don't fill out the form. Got right? it. So, so I'm over here. I'm looking at all this stuff. I'm looking at all this stuff. There is the opt-in form, but I do not opt in. I simply just clicked. I visited, visited the page and I left. That was an, n- another audience. Those are two audiences that he just captured. Now he'll turn around and show me another ad. Got right? it. Yep. And, and this guy right here is, this guy is, yeah, to tell you the truth, to be super upfront, it's kind of funny that I'm seeing his ad and that I'm on the call with you. This guy right here, Dan, this is where I learned everything from. Oh, wow. This is my, <laughs> this is my, my, my first mentor. I spent five grand for him. Oh my teach. gosh. Amazing. I spent five grand for him to teach me. And it wasn't even one-on-one coaching. It was for his video course. Wow. Five grand. 
most oh I've ever gosh. spent on any of this stuff. Like most, the most I've ever spent on coaching. Like I didn't even have the money at that time, but I freaking God, God, God just always puts us in position. Right. And that was, a God, so good. that was a God thing because that was the most money I've ever had at that time. And, and I spent it on this freaking guy. So, <laughs> but I freaking learned so much and I just quadruple folded my knowledge. And now I'm teaching. Amazing. It. That's amazing. Yeah, no, That's so inspiring. Yes. Yeah, so, so, but here's my point here, back to the custom conversions here. Here's an example of, of a custom conversion. So there's the ad, there's the video, there's the learn more button. I click, mm-hmm. I come over to the page. So the question that I'm going to ask you is with this ad, with this ad, what is the main objective? Like, what's the main objective? We're running an ad. Mm-hmm. What's our main objective? To it, get you to stop and and to at least give it some consideration and initially and then and to click on the to get more information. Okay. Is that is and, and are you putting a period right there? Is that is that your final answer? Oh no, no. We we want to capture your data. So the goal, the ultimate goal is to get you to fill out the form so that we can capture your data. You become a part of our audience. Okay. Now those are two different things. What you said first was to was to get them to click and mm-hmm. come over to the page. That was mm-hmm. one that was one answer. Mm-hmm. The second answer was to capture the lead. Yes. Those yep. are two different answers. True. So what what most would say, what most would say is what you said first, and they would stop there. They would say, Well, David, the, the goal, the objective is to obviously get them to engage with the ad and click and come over to our page. But if they don't opt in, then you you exactly. now it's a it's a moot point, right? Exactly. So that's why with ads, it's super, super specific. If that's what you wanted people to engage with it mm-hmm. and come over to the page, okay, well then shit, that's what Facebook is Facebook going to give you. Facebook is going to give you 50,000 people who did just that, but you mm-hmm. didn't get a lead from it. Exactly. Because that's not what your objective was. Your objective was Bingo. to just click. <laughs> okay, well then shit, there's 75,000 people that clicked. There you go, David. <laughs> But what does that mean to you if you don't have 75,000 emails and telephone numbers? Right, exactly. (laughs) Well, the objective is to capture the lead. So how does somebody somebody do that? They have to opt in. Yeah. So here's what happens. I'll use my page as the example because I don't want to opt into his page. I'll use my page. So if I'm running an ad, if I'm running the ad and that person clicks and they come over to my webpage, Mm -hmm. There's the visit, right? There's the visit. One page, one orange button. Simple. That's it, right? So simple. But here's the custom conversion. So look, up here at the top, there's my link. Socialagentmastery.com forward slash web class. The moment that person opts in, they end up coming to this second page. Mm -hmm. they'll, They'll enter their name and email. And then they'll land on the second page, which is socialagentmastery.com forward slash web class in progress. That is so cool. This link is my custom conversion. So what I tell Facebook, not only is it a custom audience, it's two things. They landed here. I'm automatically able to tell Facebook, hey, anyone who lands on this link is a custom audience, aka a lead. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's one thing, the custom audience. But what we're talking about here is the custom conversion. So what I have to do is I have to take this link. That's why I have to be able to control the domain. That domain needs to be mine because I need these links to read something different. Yeah, right? every time. I need yeah. to change this. So, so here's the deal. This link, yes, it's a custom um, 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 audience, but then it's also a custom conversion. So what we're going to do once we set up your pages, we're going to take this link and, and, and let Facebook know this is the conversion. So mm-hmm. when we run ads, we're telling Facebook, this is the link that's the most important. We're Got trying it. to get people here, mm-hmm. not just here. And is Facebook intelligent enough to help to oh, drive yeah. the traffic oh, yeah, that, yeah. that way because that's, you've told it what where you yes. want it? Yes. Excellent. Like, I love crazy. that. Yes. That's so cool. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. They wow. will run ads targeting people in that area that are likely to opt into things versus That's brilliant versus running your ad to a bunch of people in that farm that never click on shit. 
um, amazing. But if you're not setting it up right, you're failing. Like, yeah. and this is why I hear so many of my colleagues. I, I'm telling you, David, I'm going to refer people to you. Get ready. Um, because I am in all kinds of networking groups, like too many to count. And, and time and time again, I have heard people say to me, Facebook ads don't work or just to the audience or to mm-hmm. the group or whoever, they just don't work. And I, and in my mind, especially after meeting you, I always knew it's because they're missing something. It's not working because it's user error. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to, I didn't know what that was, but just in my mindset, especially coming from the background I do in education, I know if mm-hmm. you've missed a crucial step, then that's it. Like if you miss eggs in a cake, you have no cake, you have a mess, right? right. So right. that's what you're saying. Like there's something that's missing that's like literally gonna put it all together, like coagulates everything. And if you mm-hmm. don't have that, then yep. yeah, you're just, you're wasting a ton of money and revenue on marketing budget that is failing you. Yeah. And so this is why I'm gonna refer people to you. I promise you the time you spend with me is gonna be well worth it because I have a mouth and I like to share lots of, I like to share my wins with people. I like people to be able to be winning and not failing. So I'm gonna share a lot oh, of this blessed. information. Oh, it's on, yeah. on, bless you, it's it's on. So, so like watch, two pages, right? It's two pages, whether mm-hmm. it's a listing, whether it's an open house, whether it's a seller guide, whatever, like there's a seller guide page. Here's a simple listing page. Mm-hmm. Here's, a, here's a simple, um, where's the open house one at the open house one. Um, oh yeah. Here's the open house one, simple open house one. I love it's it. Two pages. It's two it's pages. clean and it's so, so clean. It's not busy. So here's the deal. It's, it's one, one yellow button, right? Yellow button. Mm-hmm. That's one button. But here's, here's what I'm trying to say with the custom conversion. So let's say, for example, it's the, let's say, it's, let's say it's an open house or let's go back to the seller guide. Cause that's what we're going to kind of focus on is the seller guide one. So as I run that ad, as I run that ad, they click, they come over to my web one page, right? They come over to my one, my one page, mm-hmm. they enter their name and email, send me your 10 tips. Now they come to the second page. This second page is my custom conversion. Excellent. And that video, is that you putting a video of yourself speaking to your audience? This video? Yeah, this is going to be your video. Okay. Yes, this is going Love to be, it. This is going to be you. This is going to be a 45 second video. This is, this is, this, and, and we'll get to the video part once we set up pages, but, okay. but yeah, that's a simple, the simple Love video it. where all I'm doing in this video is I'm introducing myself. I'm saying, mm-hmm. thank you. Here, here's four bullet points and I'm recording this part for you. So don't even trip. But okay. as that person downloads my seller guide, they then mm-hmm. come to the second page where I'm hitting on four bullet points. This is a mm-hmm. simple 45 second video for my cell phone. So what I'm saying in this video is number one, thank you. Thank yes. you for downloading my 2022 seller's guide. In this seller's guide, I'm giving you this, 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 and this, right? I'm saying mm-hmm. thank you. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is David. I'm with eXp Realty. Let me tell you a little bit about, about myself and, and why I'm so fired up to help homeowners in the area of whatever, right? Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. Check your email because I just sent over your free seller's guide. You're going to see it coming from me. The title of it is your free seller guide. Make sure you download it right away so you can, you can keep up with the emails that I have coming your way. So number three, I'm telling them to check their email. And then number four, I'm going for the close. I'm going for the call to action. Number four, I'm hitting in this 45 second video for my cell phone. I'm saying, hey guys, and by the way, if you're in the market or if you just have questions or if you need to speak to a professional, I'd love to talk to you. So if you click the button below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Love that. And you're telling, you're giving them the call to action. You're giving them action steps to take. Like, it's awesome. You're guiding them. Some people are going to come here and just download your seller guide and that's it. Some people are going to land here and actually schedule a call. So, so that calendar button, that that's, what's going to be in place. But my point is, is that this link is my custom conversion. And so when you set it up as a custom conversion, you're also able to track in the dashboard when it comes back to the metrics and the analytics and looking at all, all the numbers. That's how Facebook tracks your cost per lead because they Got know it. how many people landed on the link that you gave them. Got it. That That's so good. And you need to know that. Yeah. Um, how, how do you pivot? You have yeah. to know where to put your marketing dollars. Yes. Got it. Yeah. So, so, so let me stop share. So go back up to your screen really quick and then, and then we'll, we'll be almost done. So this custom conversion place, um, yeah, see if you can share. So we should be on the custom conversion page. I'll have you just bookmark it from there, but we'll rebook it. We'll rebookmark it once we, once we get some pages going. So go ahead and start it. 
and this is custom conversion. Custom conversion. So a custom conversion is around any thank you page, right? Any thank you page. I could have went to a, I could have, I could have saw an ad for a listing. I click, I go to the first page. I enter my name and email. I come to the second page, which is a thank you page. That link is my custom conversion. It could have been an open house. Same thing. Enter their name and email. They land on the thank you page. That thank you page is my custom conversion. Got I it. could be, I could be selling stuff. I could be, I could be selling handbags. You go to my website, you see the red handbag, you click on it, you, you, you put in your credit card information, you, you click on purchase now, you land on a second page that says, hey, that's the custom conversion. Yeah, that's the custom conversion. Got it. So it's all about that. Thank you. Page. That second, second page. page. Yeah. yeah, that second page. So that should be all of our bookmarks. Let's look, let's look at our folder. Where's our folder at? Let's, um, can you, what, are you on a Mac or what kind of computer? Are you on a PC or a Mac? A uh, laptop. Yeah, you're on um, Lenovo. Okay, perfect. So then, so then your bookmarks should be yeah. Hit hit um yeah. Now right here, X out of this part, but click on click on um yeah. Click on the three lines and go to bookmarks from there. Okay, perfect. So right here, where is that folder? So it should, it's probably at the very very bottom. If you can, just maybe scroll, maybe drag it to the top. Yeah, definitely. Look at this craziness. <laughs> oh my god. Where- is crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is insane. I, I didn't, I didn't even um, know I had this is it alphabetical order. No, I don't think it's alphabetical order. No, I'm, I'm so bad. I don't even think I realized how many were in here. I never seen anything that many. That's crazy. So, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What we have is ad account, business settings, billing, yep. ads manager, custom audiences, pixel, and custom conversions. Mm-hmm. Those are your top seven. Okay. So as we move forward, all we're going to be doing, go back to that real quick. All we're going to be doing is filling everything in. Okay. So, so a big, big part of it are the pages. Okay. So, so as we, yeah, watch, the, let's go back to it really, really quick, because I'll show you what part is, is, is is where the pages come into play. Yeah. So see if you can drag it like, okay, there it is. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Perfect. So as long as you know where it's at, then it's all good. So as we move forward, as we move forward, what we'll be filling in our custom audiences, we'll take the pixel, put it on a page. We'll take the pages and set up a custom conversion. And then we'll be running ads out of the ads manager. Should I put this in order or does it matter? No, it doesn't matter at all. And then you'll be able to track everything through billing. You'll have your business settings that you can always go to um, for, especially for integrating the domain. We'll have to go back and do the domain. And then then you'll know your ad account. You'll know which ad account is tied to what credit card through that ad account bookmark. Makes sense. That all makes sense. I love that it's organized and I need to get rid of all these. Yes. Delete whatever, whatever is not. I need to just go away. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. 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 So that right there, T, is is so, so important. That's going to save you a ton of time on, on having to navigate through all this stuff to see what's important and what to click on and what not to. But those seven is where, is where we'll live, is in those seven bookmarks. Awesome. Very and, cool. And that's the setup. So we definitely need to set up our next call. And on our next call, we'll have to look into pages because that's what we're going to fill in are the, the custom audiences around pages, the custom conversion around pages, the pixel right. on a page. So I'm available. Whenever. So right now we have the framework set up. We the, now we, we have to yes. put in all of the important pieces inside of the frame. Yes. Yes. I got I, it. That's the next step. So let me know if you got time Monday. Shoot me a message whenever. I and, did. I already pre-scheduled. <laughs> you did. You, did. Oh, yeah. you, said, you said the second one. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So when is it? Monday? Monday. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So I'll send you this recording here in, in a bit and then um, message me if you need anything else. I'll be a message away if you need anything. Perfect. I'm excited. Thank you so All much. Right, so you have a great weekend. God Take bless. Take care. Be blessed. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.